Lovins. Hi, it's so great to see y'all. You are here, Love Revolution with Dr. Ross, and we are with videographer Chris Gosnell. If y'all have seen my reels and y'all have seen my videos, uh, this is the beautiful lady that uh, creates all of those for me, and I am delighted <laughs> that you have agreed to appear on Love Revolution, and as we do with every episode, I'm going to start by reading the Be Love Pledge. You can go to thekingcenter.org forward slash be love and see the pledge and sign it there um, if, you're, uh, if you are so inclined. I'm talking to the audience now. Um, and so I'm going to read that and then we're going to dive right in. So it says, Be love. join us around the world in taking the pledge. I acknowledge three things. The violence, oppression, inequity, injustice, and hate in our world has to stop. I have a responsibility and role to play in creating social change for a more just, humane, equitable, and peaceful world. The decision is mine whether to do nothing in this moment or to have the courage to stand up for justice. And starting today, I make a personal choice to be love. I pledge to allow love to drive my thoughts, words, decisions, and actions and honor the humanity of every individual. That still is the line that most resonates with me. I'm going to read that one again. I pledge to allow love to drive my thoughts, words, decisions, and actions and honor the humanity of every individual. Whoop would the world look like if we had 8 billion people that just practiced that? It goes oh, on to on. say, I know, right? I pledge to speak the truth to power and love. I pledge to focus on defeating injustice and not destroying the person. I pledge to support leaders who demonstrate a love for humanity. I pledge to promote unity and refuse to perpetuate or magnify division. I pledge to demonstrate a life of courage, care, and compassion as I boldly confront anything that stands in opposition to love. By signing this pledge, I'm helping to create what Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. called the beloved community. And with that, Chris Gosnell, you are my beloved. You are part of my beloved community. And I am so deeply grateful to just know you. And I want to hear all your thoughts on the beloved pledge, on how you use agape in your business, on what stood out, what's hard, what's easy, all the things. I really find that interesting. Um Mostly because what I see in my limited view of the world is people trying to stand out. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. We were all created individually, very uniquely, and all in the image of God. So yes, there's so much about every person to be seen and to be celebrated. When you're trying to, when you're feeling inadequate and you're feeling overlooked, and then you bring out, you stand out, try to stand out so that you can be seen and not be overlooked. Darn it. And it tends to be a little bit more like, you know, and I'm like, ah, that's painful to see. And instead, I try to look at it and go, you know what? I want to see people. Mm. I want to actually see who they are, what they have to offer, their unique beauty in this world. Wow. And as a photographer and a videographer, bring it out and capture that mm -hmm. and then turn around and show it to the world that's something that i it's the core of my business to be honest yeah. it's something that's been that's driven me for a long time but yeah really just seeing people and getting people together and saying okay yes i do see you yes you are valid mm -hmm. but who you are not anything else but who you are period mm -hmm. it's not you were not loved any less we're not loved any more we're all completely loved yeah. by our creator. And that's how we should love as yeah. much as we can. Absolutely. Come on now. Absolutely. Absolutely. I apologize to my audience that I did forget the piece about the photographer because uh, you, to me, you are the video expert. I mean, and, and <laughs> I guess, I, I guess for me, you know, a lot of people take pictures. A lot of people have, do their own pictures. A lot of people, you know, have photographers, but video, to me, videography is what really sets you apart because I don't know anybody else who does that specifically and also who does it as well as you do. Well, thank you. And you're right. I mean, my my education is still photography, mm. but um, yeah, I actually have a degree in photography. I, I do. And unfortunately, because I didn't meet you before that, I have the college loans to go with it oh but, yeah yeah, yeah it, it's do, you, pretty bad. do you still have I the would've... college loans Chris I have one of them wow. I, I paid off one already 
and I have um, one left. Wow. So, yeah. yeah. So it, the, the debt-free degree stuff I hear and I'm like, oh. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Do you know, it's interesting because I hear that statement all the time. The debt-free degree stuff, I wish I knew you win. But mm -hmm. the 15, 16, 17-year-olds that I'm speaking to now and the parents of the 15, 16, 17-year-olds, it doesn't seem to resonate. It doesn't, and not, not never, obviously, but the amount of resistance I get to debt-free degree is unbelievable. And so thank you for saying that. I appreciate that. It's interesting. We'll have to talk again off camera about this because I've got some ideas to some fun things. Okay, good. Yeah. Good, 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 Just good. Mind. Y'all may see me doing some some reels or some something. I don't know. I never know with Chris. All I know is uh, I have a great time when I'm with you and you do capture me. That's what I love about those videos. Um, that's what gave me, honestly, the courage to start Love Revolution, this video series, is because of how I feel in front of your camera. And then it just was like, okay, I can do this and interview folks. I love getting to know people's stories. So it's interesting. You use video to see others. I use interview for me to see them. And so in some ways, you know, it's, it, you're, you're, yeah. it's a little bit like the, the tables are a little bit turned uh, because audience, by the it. time you're watching this video and you see all the, you know, all the magic that happens, then Chris will have done that for me. <laughs> Yeah, then I'm going to turn around and edit this video. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Oh, I love it. Yeah. No, but yeah, the seeing people is so important. It is. Um, it is, it is. What I've seen now, I'm going to be turning 50 in a couple of months. And I have seen so many women my age, when I say grow, grow gracefully, yeah. internally, where they're just like, sure, yeah, I'm getting older. It's who I am. Okay, yeah. let's go. I have so much more to offer this world that I did when I was 25. Amen, sister. Has... Oh, oh, okay. That I'm sorry. That needs a pom-pom. <laughs> yes. 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 Amen, sister, to that. Yes. Don't we? Don't we have so much more to offer yes. now? Yes. And it's like, just because the package is a little bit bigger or and older and all the other things that come with it, what does that matter? Yeah. Not a single solitary thing. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. if anything, I think I've had wonderful role models. There's a lot of my business friends are older than I am. Mm -hmm. They're in their 50s, 60s, 70s. And I see these women and I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah. There's a lot of them. So many of them are just like, yep, this is who I am. And this is what 60 looks like. 70, yeah. 80. Okay, let's yeah. go. Exactly. There's still so much more to do. I love capturing that, yes. whether it be still photography, which is how I started my career. Sorry, jumping back into the lane. That's how I started my career, but then video became more part of it right. uh, as I started working with businesses. And now it's actually the a, a very, very, very large part of my business. Yeah. Well, I'm 52, it. so I'm a little bit ahead of you uh, in terms of the age thing. And just it little. just so happened that we had a staff meeting for the King Center on my actual birthday. And oh. our CEO is Dr. Bernice King, Martin Luther King, and Coretta Scott King's youngest child. And she came up to wish me a happy birthday. And I said, Dr. King, I'm 52. I want to work for you for another 40 years. So I'll be 92 and you'll be 99 and let's reevaluate then. And she was like, okay, Elizabeth. And I am sincere. Like I sincerely want to spend another 40 years there. I, I envision 8 billion nonviolent practitioners. I envision a department of Kingian nonviolence at every institution of higher education in the world. And there's 25,000 of them. And so whatever it is that I can do in my next 40, however many years that, that I'm granted on this earth. And who knows, you know what, today may be my last day. I do not know, but you know, having that, that vision and that forethought when I was somebody else's employee, I did not have any of these dreams, but entrepreneurship is oh. so empowering. Yes. Yes, it is. So empowering. <laughs> and it, it can be scary. I get that entrepreneurship because there isn't a set path. There isn't a guarantee. Like when you work for somebody else, you get a, you get a paycheck every other week. You have, you know, your, your 401k, hopefully, and you have insurance and all the other things. 
And it's like, okay, and you go about the grind. And then you start getting those little pieces of, well, I could do this. I could do that. This could happen. And then you start feeling that angst, that entrepreneurial pull. Yes. Of, mm, yes, you you have something to give and something to do. Yeah. But wow, it's scary to just make that change. It really it's, is. It is. It is. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, am such an academic at heart. I spent 35 plus years in and around higher ed. And I, I realized that my, like my natural body, like I am sincere when I tell you that I buy school supplies every fall. It's just something I have to do. It doesn't matter how many piles of notebooks I have. I need to go see what is the latest composition notebook. And I need some, you know, clicky uh, mechanical pencils. You can see like I've already, you know, flicked this thing off and all that. I mean, I love, you know, all the school supplies. And also... I've noticed that um, in entrepreneurship and in and uh, working for the King Center, then I'm no longer off from December 10th to January the 5th. In fact, mm -hmm. uh, because King Center is uh, international for King Center, you know, for King Holiday Observance, obviously, then um, I mean, it is like right around the holidays. I was really, really, you know, I mean, I worked almost right up until Christmas and the week after Christmas and all that and loved every minute. Absolutely loved every minute. So, yeah, I love it. I could talk to you forever. I, I have one more question I want to ask you. Ask away. How do you, either with video or photography, whichever direction you want to go, how do you see people? And then what about the Be Love Pledge do you love? Like, how does the Be Love Pledge and, and photography and videography and Chris, where's the synergy in all of that? How I see people, I love. One of the things I enjoy about video is it, I get to dive into someone's business a little bit more. I work primarily with businesses, business coaches, folks like you, uh, people who have something to say and want and need to say it on a frequent basis. Hearing them, listening to them, asking questions, finding out about what here is passionate and what message they need to get out. And as I'm doing that, I'm watching them and how they come alive. Yeah. Then I'm like, okay, now I've tapped into who they are. Mm -hmm. And I try to get that back out of them. And if they're all of a sudden stop and they start giving me Maria Von Trapp, you know, and the la, 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 I'm like, no, no, no. Let's get back to the passion. Let's get back to the, the good stuff and the who you are and all of this and get people involved in your thoughts and in your passion and get them, just pull them right into you like a magnet. Yeah. You should repel or re attract people. That's it. Mm. And it shouldn't be in the middle. It should be one or the other. So yeah, getting that and then hearing and saying, okay, what are your words now? Now mm. that we've got the feeling and the emotion, what is it that we're trying to get across? Then yeah. actually from there on, the video and the work is pretty easy yeah. because I've, I've kind of primed them up a little bit and then it's like, okay, now let's get going. And I just point them in the right direction, light them, mic them, put cameras on them. Okay, let's go. Yeah. 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 I love you that. Know what? As somebody who has sat in front of your camera, I didn't realize you did that. Mm -hmm. But how much fun. I mean, we just got things out. We did. Right. And it, and it rolled. I mean, you just yeah. kept going and going and going and it was a long day, but we got it done. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm going to share with my audience, with the audience, uh, Chris and I recorded 44 teaching videos for debt-free degree plus mm -hmm. 44 one minute reels. And yes. Chris was so good. I would do a teaching video and immediately she would say, do your one minute. And so I would, whatever I had just said, I would condense it down. And um, at 92 se or at uh, 52 seconds, she would start going like this. <laughs> I'd be like, wrap it up. And boy, that woman can wrap it up, up faster in anybody's business and just be like, zip, and we're done. <laughs> like, agree. Join me on my Patreon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the Be Love Pledge, when I was looking at that, I'm going to pull this up again. One thing that really stood out to me, well, two, I pledge to speak the truth to power in love. Mm. How interesting is that? The in love, 
meaning you have to love someone long before you can speak to them, mm -hmm. speak truth to them. Mm -hmm. How interesting is that? We, as Americans, we are free. We have freedom of speech. We have freedom of religion. We have freedom to say what we feel. Yeah. And that is a wonderful thing. Absolutely wonderful. And how much do we pick up our our billy club and just start beating the crap out of somebody with our thoughts and our words mm -hmm. before we start to love them? That's exactly. And actually, if we, even if you don't agree with them, mostly if you don't agree with them, mm -hmm. then it becomes, well, do I love them? Yeah. Where are they coming from? And then you start to actually think, well, where are they coming from? Why do they do what they do? You start to ask questions because they're human now. Yes. They're not just some figure out there that it's not a human figure. It's just this right. thing, you know, right. president, a, um, a, somebody in the limelight, that type of thing. People can just, oh, they're not real people. They're just over there. Mm -hmm. But we let hate in our hearts so right. easily. And right. how much more if we let love in our hearts and take yeah what god has given to us and give it freely away yes it's never going to be an, it, it's inexhaustible yeah and then actually think about these people and then pray for them mm. love them yeah. do whatever we can that's within our power you don't have to go out of your way to change the world if you start with what's in front of you right and it's like right. with the people in your life with who's in front of you yeah you know and what, what yeah. was it um pray for those in leadership so that we can have a, a peaceful life yeah. yeah. <laughs> Truly. And it's yeah. like, okay, yes, they are people. Everyone is that way. Especially yeah. the people who look to be opposite of us mm -hmm. in a stance, in um, a color, in a religion, in a something. They are people. Mm -hmm. And God loves them just as much as he loves every single one of us. Absolutely. And if you think about that, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Because we always... we. I know I tend to think, well, God just loves me so much. And I know this and I'm unworthy of it, but it's there anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the same for you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> wow. That's really hard. It's yeah. really hard to yeah. hate someone whenever you get into that mindset. Yes. Yes. And, you know, of so, course, um, without without knowing it, you're you're actually quoting Martin Luther King because mm -hmm. he talked about that. We have to dehumanize. We have to take away someone's humanity before we can perpetuate violence against them. So you know, it's so true. true. <laughs> yes. Yes. So when we're not seeing their divinity, that spark of divinity in them, their humanity, uh, then that's when we perpetuate. Yeah. That's really, really good. What was well, that? The, my, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I was going to say, well, that is my very uneducated in comparison to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He was just amazing. And I am nowhere near the orator or thinker that he he was. I say is because his thoughts and minds and just keep perpetuating, period. Yes. Um, yes. He might Anytime be somebody asks me for a book recommendation, if they ask me for one book recommendation, I always mm -hmm. recommend where do we go from here, chaos or community? And it feels as if it was written this year. It feels like he published oh. it today. And it was, you know, in the late 60s. And so, yeah. Oh, and I'm sure that that's information. I'm going to read that too. Information Good. that was great, you know, a hundred years ago, a thousand years ago with Cain and Abel. Come on. Yeah. When there are only a couple of folks on the planet, there's still right. hatred. Right. right. Well, order it from the King Center, uh, thekingcenter.org, okay. and then go to bookstore uh, and, and help us by ordering it from there. That would be great. Okay. Right. And you had one more question for me, you said. Yeah. I um you I think you said there were two parts of Be Loved that stood out to you. So I want to make so sure. So the speaking, speaking truth to power in love. It's the... Okay, love, gotcha. And then gotcha. working it backwards. Yes. Speaking truth to power because you have to love, love them first versus the I'm right. This is what I yes. think. And you need to bow down to me because I am my own God Good. right now. Right. Right. Uh, love puts others first. Yeah, that's great. And this, let's see. Promote unity and refuse to perpetuate or magnify division. Mm hmm. Um, I think it goes along the same ways. Of course, it's all love. Yeah. But how much people want to stand aside 
stand with those that are like them and they're feeling yes we're we're perpetu perpetuating unity here mm -hmm. but we're not loving across the board yeah nothing wrong with having friends nothing wrong with having friends that look like you that are like you that's generally how it goes <laughs> anyway you're you know people are drawn to you that are like you you're drawn to people who are like you period but then looking at others and not putting them in another box, actually caring for them and seeing them for who they are. Mm -hmm. We're all part of this big, beautiful, lovely human race. Yes. Every size, shape, um, eye color, <laughs> you know, everything. Yeah. I just love it all. Yeah. So that one's an interesting one too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and you know, um, oftentimes uh, in our, we're, here in the United States, in our political climate, oftentimes uh, you're asked to be either a D or an R. And mm -hmm. that's one of the great things about nonviolence is that it doesn't ask me to be a D or an R. It says, you know, how, how can I not magnify division? And um, it's it's hopeful to me that I am beginning to see D's and R's elected officials who are willing to work with people outside of their own party and in fact seeking opportunities like not just this benefits me so therefore I'll do this but it it benefits my region it benefits my district um it benefits humanity and so I'm going to reach out awesome. and so um yeah I love that too I love that too I try not to use the word them and then now with pronouns, uh, when I say that, people hear that in a different way. But what I mean is to other somebody. So yeah, rather it, than to other them and, and create a separation, I try to say my brother or my sister. You know, mm -hmm. we're family. Whoever it is. If you've got a heartbeat, we're family. Come on. It all goes back to love, doesn't it? It does. It does. It does. I mean, if you can't love the people on this earth, that it was, <laughs> you know. If you just start start putting them into the us or them category, it doesn't really work. Right. right. That's right. That's right. Well, I could talk to you all day. I love Thanks. you, Chris Gosnell. Thank you for being a part of Love Revolution with Dr. Roz. I well, appreciate you so I much. love you too, Dr. Roz. Elizabeth, you are wonderful. Thank you so much. All right. See y'all soon, beloveds. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.